Hello my friends, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, July 3rd, 2018. This is Jennifer. Today will probably be my final cosplay post. Uh, my son and I have finished finished everything except for one little thing um, on his cosplay. Everything that he had to do is done, all the props are made. Everything I had to do is done except I'm gonna have to redo one little thing which I'll show you in just a second. First I want to show you the final headdress. This is what he did um, with the felt and then these are the pieces I showed you previously that I made. He did the dyeing and the, the coloring on these. These are the wings for the character Waka from Okami. And so this goes down really far and then the bottoms are also colored. Um, and he just dip dyed these using Rit dye. We did some samples first to make sure it would work out and then he did the dip dyeing. I actually attached it to the hat for him and it is attached underneath this piece of felt is Velcro so that he can take it off if he needs to um, take it off and pack it or whatever. So I told him not to do it unless he has to, but if he needs to, then he can do that. The other piece we finished was his and this was this one was really all me so I did um, finish the pieces I was showing you about. I got the buttonholer sorted out. I ended up putting my um, my extension table on my sewing machine, which I don't usually sew with. I don't, I'm not a fan of sewing with an extension table unless I'm quilting. So I um, put the extension table on there and it held up the weight of the sleeve and I got 24 perfect buttonholes, which I just have those here with the, with the ribbon going through it, as you can see. And then these are just little inserts that I put in. Um, I, I made a little piece it was a little bit longer and as wide as I needed it to be so when it opens you don't see his um, arm through it in the picture which hopefully I still have up here there's you can see the same color as this underneath so that's what this is it's just a little insert that I added these are the only things that are going to change so the character has giant pom-poms on his kimono but these are so heavy that when he puts it on, it pulls the whole thing forward. And I did put them on with Velcro so that they can come off. I just got on Amazon and I found the same color of tissue paper. And I don't know about you guys, but if you grow up in the 70s and the 80s, you might remember making flowers out of tissue paper. So my plan is to make him a whole set of tissue paper flowers. So two to start with, and then I'll probably make him about six so that if anything happens to the first two, he can just swap them out. That way he doesn't have to worry about losing our more whatever and I think tissue paper the weight won't drag down the front of the kimono it should be it might be a little noisy and it's a little less resilient I guess but um but it's not going to fall off of his his outfit like these are just they're just too heavy and they're just pulling the whole front down the other little thing I did was I put some belt loops on the plaid pants for the other cosplay, but that was not a big deal. It was just, it was double fold bias tape that I had on hand and I just did a straight line stitching three times through the whole thing and then cut belt loops out of it, added them on. It was really quick and easy and now he can wear a belt with his cosplay, which it does have, the character does have a belt, so very happy about that. I did a little mending last week. I still need to find the Linus quilt I showed you last week, but that's pretty much it. All, all I really worked on was finishing this up. That is all for my craftiness for the week. I have a whole list of things to do coming up. Tomorrow on Fandom and Stitches, we start the Choose Your Own UFO Quilt Along. I myself have two Fandom and Stitches UFOs. One is my 2015 Project of Doom signature quilt from all the signatures I collected from people who participated in my 2015 quilt along. And my Princess Bride quilt top, which has been finished and it has gone to a quilter and come back again when she didn't really know what to do with it and she had it for a long time. And then I was gonna quilt it and then I had surgery and I didn't quilt it and then it's been hanging up inside of a suit bag. It's actually right here behind, oh there it is right here, this, this suit bag right there. It's been in there for years. So I'm gonna send that off to our very own Jennifer R. Playful Piecing and whenever she, Jen, whenever you have time, do it at your own pace. It's obviously not urgent urgency, but I figured it would be one step closer to being done. So if I can get my SIG quilt done and get that in the mail, I'm gonna feel pretty freaking successful. So anything you have to work on, just you know, pull it out. If you have too many things, just pick one or two. Um, I'm gonna be doing a post tomorrow to try to help everybody get geared up. And there, like I said last week, there will be prompts on the Facebook group. And if you respond to the prompts, then you will have an opportunity to win whatever free prize I'm sharing, which is probably going to be, I have a stack of charm packs, and I think probably a charm pack a week is what's going to be happening for that. So I'll be giving away some free fabric. And most of that is thanks to our very own Susie. I had a couple people ask why we're posting um, the prizes and stuff on Facebook now, and that is simply because we had almost zero response on our website. No one comments on Phantom and Stitches on the website, 
but we get lots of comments on Facebook and Instagram. We're just gonna go where the people want to be instead of trying to drag people into the comment sec section of fandomandstitches.com. We will do the um, giveaway over on Facebook. I did want to say that we had one last post for Art with Disney with Alita. It went up yesterday and that is because she had just she just had some unavoidable delay on Wednesday. She was really busy at work and stuff. And so that went up yesterday. So if you were looking for the very last post, that was then. I will be working very hard today and tomorrow to get Phantom and Stitches updated and get, get all the archives updated so that all of those patterns will be on the Disney Classics page. So you can get all of her gorgeous applique patterns right there on one spot. Talk to me Tuesday swappers. Don't forget to mail your swap block to Jules. Jules, I haven't mailed yours yet. Haven't even made it yet. Knowing you as well as I do, I know you won't mind if it's a little bit late. So I will hopefully have that in the mail by the end of the week. And if you guys don't mind just dropping me a line, let me know that you have mailed your blocks. I would very much appreciate it. Also a short notice for our Talk To Me Tuesdayers, you should have received an email from me over the weekend that was forwarded from Jennifer Rolls. Make sure you read that email. It is very important. That is it. I'm going to see you guys next week. Bye.